The purpose of this video is to review how to raise error messages and warnings in Odoo's version 12 in order to prevent users from executing certain actions. So first thing that we're going to look at is uh, I have a credit limit for a client. You can see if they're over credit or under, under credit. And I have, uh, let's take a look at this client, for example, uh, Bob Marley. Over credit. You'll see when I try to save this, it'll tell me my customer credit limit is reached. Now, how do you write that? It's very simple. You go into, right, we have this little button here, which already does the computation uh, to understand if this crest, if the customer is over or under credit. Um, I can show you here someone who is, such as Michael Solero, over credit. Right, so this little button, this Boolean, is either true or false. And because it's either true or false, we can write an automated action that says when uh, apply on, so on the sale order, on creation and update, credit is set. So if over credit is true, action to do is execute Python code. Python code is raise, warning, and this particular message. Very simple. Let's look at another example. Let's create an automated action which says stop sale of product, which says that um, on the sales order line, uh, on a creation and update, apply on any instance where the product, let's actually take the product and let's take the name of the product equals test and all the product or ordered quantity is greater than 10. So now anytime we have a product equal test and the ordered quantity of that product is greater than 10, action to do is execute Python code. And what we'll do is um, raise warning. Um, don't you dare try to sell this many of this product. You should know better. We'll have a little fun today. Uh, then we'll save that. And now anytime that we try to order greater than 10 of test product, action to do will execute Python code, which will raise this warning message. And let's take a look at what that looks like. So we go to an order. We create the order. And we say for John James, make sure they're not over credit so we can process it. And we add the test product, and we can add nine units, save it, no warning. If we add 11 units, save it, there's our error. Don't you dare try to sell this for any other product, you should know better. So very simple, yet highly effective, and to be frank, very cool way of helping control people's behavior in an environment. Um, as you can see, the code to do that is, is quite simple. It's very simple. It's raise warnings and then in your parentheses and in your quotes and you indicate the content of the message that displays when, the, when that message is raised. Um, but the bolder idea that's kind of cooked into this is that think of all of the different scenarios that you could apply this in, right? Extrapolate this information and think about all of the different conditions that you want to measure on a record and you now have the power to deny people uh, the ability to move forward with a, a process or workflow in Odoo, assuming those conditions are, are blocked or assuming you have a, a warning message raised whenever they try to pursue that avenue. So, and again, what's powerful about it is it's very easy to set something like that up. Um, so that's in a nutshell, you know, how you can start to understand how warning messages can be raised. And if you have any other questions about this video, for example, I do have a video that I've created over the last few days, which reviews how to, how to get this credit uh, button working and, and what the underlying code behind that looks like. And you can see a little bit of that right here. So you can watch that video, educate yourself on that. If you have any questions about that or taking things to the next level, like raising warnings and, and all that jazz, uh, feel free to contact me via the email address provided in the description of the video, and I'll be more than happy to help you. Thanks so much, and have a great day.